What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be talking about the games that are coming out in 2021 that I'm really excited for and plan on purchasing. Now by the time I upload this video, there is a chance that some of these games might already be released and that, that is okay, but let's get right into this. <music> So up first is a game that I remember playing different games of this back whenever I was a kid on the PlayStation 2, and that is Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. I remember I purchased the first Steel Titans game and absolutely loved it. They have advanced it with the second game, and I've looked at gameplay and things that are going to be included in this game. There's a lot more new monster trucks, a lot more new events, and different things like that, and a lot more world changes because it's kind of an open world aspect at certain points of the game. Game. So I'm really excited to play this game and I loved playing them back on the PS2 back when I was younger and I know I'm going to love this game because I loved the first Steel Titans game. Now this game is going to be a lot of fun but it's likely something that I'm only going to purchase is if it becomes on sale likely part of Black Friday this year. The next game is something that once it was announced I'm extremely excited for. Now I haven't looked into any of the details for this game of what era of war it's going to be, but the game we're talking about is Battlefield 6. Now, for some odd reason, a lot of people hate Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1. I absolutely love them. I love the whole authentic uh, World War 1 and 2 aspects. I love these stories. I love the war stories. I love the graphics, the gameplay. And one of my favorite things to do in Battlefield is to do sniping. I love being a sniper and those games were a lot of fun. With the announcement of Battlefield 6, I'm recently going back and playing Battlefield 5 because I love the game. And even though it's an EA game and you can purchase things like skins and stuff like that, and maybe that's why people hate EA and this game, the Battlefield series nowadays, for me, I absolutely love Battlefield. I'm going to stick with it. And I know for me personally, I'm not going to be going back to Call of Duty because I prefer Battlefield over Call of Duty because... It's a lot more fun. Bigger maps, bigger missions, bigger gameplays online, and I love everything that they do with the Battlefield games. Like I said, I don't know what era this game is gonna be right now. I haven't really looked into it. All I know, it's been announced, and I'm really excited and ready for it. If you guys know what era of war it's going to be, please comment down below and let me know. The next game is something that is likely already released by the time I upload this video. I know it was set to release in the by the end of 2020, but it got pushed back until February 2021. Now, at the time I'm recording this video, I don't know if that has been pushed back even further. All I know is right now it's supposed to be released in February 2021, and that is Far Cry 6. The first Far Cry game I played was Far Cry 5 because I loved that not only was it back in North America, but that it was like a cult related game and it was a lot of fun. I absolutely loved Far Cry 5. Even more, I went and purchased the next year when it came out, Far Cry New Dawn, which is basically the story continuing from Far Cry 5 after the events of Far Cry 5. And I loved those games so much. I went and purchased Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4. I have only played and finished Far Cry 3 and I'm going to be hopefully soon, hopefully before I purchase Far Cry 6, I'm going to be playing and finishing Far Cry 4. The Far Cry games are just a lot of fun and to some people they're very repetitive because at times you have to do the same thing over and over but it is still a lot of fun. I love the gameplay, I love the graphics, I love the story that the Far Cry games tell. I know I'm gonna love this game. I'm likely gonna purchase it hopefully near the holidays of 2021 because right now, and I should have mentioned this earlier in the video, I don't know for these games if I'm gonna purchase the PS4 copy or the PS5 copy or if the PS PS4 copy includes the PS5 version, I'm likely gonna go that route. So I get not only the PS4 version and the PS5 version, but I know at the end of the year, I'm gonna be purchasing a PS5. So I know if I purchase the PS4 version and includes the PS5 version, I'll have both, the, I'll have the game to play on both consoles and double up on the trophies, but also be able to play the game a lot more. Not only do I have to play and beat it on the PS4, but I have to play and beat it on the PS5 as well. This game here, I don't know which console I want it for yet. The next game is a game that I get every two years, and that is NHL 2022. That's the game that's gonna be coming out this year. Now, I know a lot of people don't like hockey or sports games in general, and that's okay. I, myself, can't even justify purchasing the game every single year because 
even though there is smaller things, and I know 2021, um, or NHL 21, it had a lot of new features with career mode, which I would have loved to play. I assume they're going to be continued with 2022, and I can't justify purchasing the game every year because not only is that a lot of money for basically the same game, the only thing that usually updates is the roster, other than they do update some features. And I know 21 had a lot of cool aspects to career mode, making your player an actual player and not just worrying about the sport, things off the ice as well. As a huge hockey fan, I can't wait to play 2022. And I'm assuming that Seattle is going to be included in 2022. And I can't wait for that. At least mentioned and have the arena and jerseys and things like that as their expansion team because they're going to be a new team starting when that game comes out. The next game is a game that came out actually in 2020 and that is Spider-Man Miles Morales. I love the first Spider-Man game. This one here is not a full game. It's kind of an expansion. It's not Spider-Man 2 which is something that is hopefully in the works in the future but it's kind of an extension like a half game with the Miles aspect to Spider-Man. So Miles is the new Spider-Man in this game. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, I could have purchased it at the holidays 2020. I decided to wait and I'm gonna wait till it's on sale because it's something that's, I had the choice between Avengers and Spider-Man. I decided to basically go with Avengers to get a new style of game by a new creator for Marvel. And I know I'm going to eventually get this game, so I didn't want to purchase at the time. And it's something that this year I know I'm going to be getting. The last game is something that I'm going to mention, but right now I don't even know if, number one, it's going to come out. Number two, if it's going to even be announced or if it's something that's realistically going to happen. And that is going to be WWE 2K 2022. WWE 2K 20 was the last annual game that came out for WWE. And for a lot of people, it was a broken game, it was a garbage game, and a lot of people hated it. So much so that the next year, 2K announced that they were not making WWE 2K21. They were taking a break, and they were going to fix all of the problems they had for 2020 before they make another annual game. There's rumors right now that 2K might not be making the next game. It might go to EA, it might go somewhere else. But right now, there's no word on the truth of what's gonna happen with the WWE annual games. For me personally, WWE 2K20, everything worked for me. All the trophies popped up. I got the platinum for the game. And the main things that I love is the championship creations, the attire creations, and universe mode. And having all three of those aspects work for me is why I purchased the game and why I play the game. So I'm really excited for 2022. If that game does come out and it's made by 2K and made right, or if there's new features like GM mode, which is rumored, I think that would be a lot of fun and I can't wait if that does happen. If not, we'll be waiting another year, 2023. But these are the games as of right now that I am gonna be getting this year. Like I said, I don't know if it's gonna be the PS4 or the PS5 versions of the games, but I can't wait to get these games. Comment down below the games that you plan on getting this year and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.